One of the most important NASA missions of all time is New Horizons, which is still currently hurtling through space at breakneck speed. Unlike many projects created by NASA, New Horizons is a very long one, which means it will make a seemingly endless list of discoveries throughout its journey through the cosmos. But what has it found on one of our neighboring planets, Pluto? Is it terrifying? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a new discovery made on Pluto that will change everything. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Three billion miles from Earth, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, moving at speeds that would get it from New York to Los Angeles in about four minutes, is pointing cameras, spectrometers, and other sensors at Pluto and its moons, which are distant worlds that humankind had never seen up close. The spacecraft is currently recording hundreds of pictures and other data for the scientists to study on Earth that would forever change our view of the outer solar system. Recently, scientists leading NASA's historic New Horizons mission to the Pluto system announced the first of what is certain to be a tidal wave of new discoveries, including the totally unexpected finding of young ice mountains at Pluto and crispy clear views of young fractures on its largest moon, Charon, at a NASA media briefing at the Applied Physics Laboratory APL, in Laurel, Maryland. According to researchers, a treasure trove of long-awaited data has become streaming back to mission control at Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory to the mouth-watering delight of researchers and NASA. So, considering various discoveries made by New Horizons in the past, the images of Pluto captured by NASA's New Horizons mission have revealed a new surprise called Ice Volcanoes. The spacecraft performed a flyby of the dwarf planet and its moons in July 2015, and the insights gathered then are still rewriting nearly everything scientists understand about Pluto. Pluto was relegated to dwarf planet status in 2006 when the International Astronomical Union created a new definition for planets, and Pluto didn't fit the criteria. The dwarf planet exists on the edge of our solar system, in the Kuiper Belt, and it's the larger of the many frozen objects there orbiting far from the Sun. The icy world, which has an average temperature of minus 232 degrees Celsius, is home to mountains, valleys, glaciers, plains, and craters. So, if you were to stand on the surface, you would see blue skies with red snow. Now, what is this intriguing discovery about Pluto that has thrilled everyone? A new photo analysis sent by New Horizons showed a bumpy region on Pluto that doesn't look like any other part of the small world, or the rest of our cosmic neighborhood. We found a field of very large icy volcanoes that look nothing like anything else we have seen in the solar system, said study author Kelsey Singer, senior research scientist at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado. According to a study detailing the findings, was published in the journal Nature Communications, the region is located southwest of the Sputnik Planitia ice sheet, which covers an ancient impact basin stretching 1,000 kilometers across. Largely made of bumpy water ice, it's filled with volcanic domes. Two of the largest are known as Wright Mons and Picard Mons. Wright Mons is about 4 to 5 kilometers tall and spans 150 kilometers, while Picard Mons reaches about 7 kilometers high and is 225 kilometers wide. In addition, Wright Mons is considered to be similar in volume to the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii, which is one of the biggest volcanoes on Earth. Furthermore, some of the domes observed in the images merge together to form even bigger mountains, Singer said. But what could have created them, as no one has ever heard of a term like ice volcanoes on Earth? Ice volcanoes have been observed elsewhere in our solar system. They move material from the subsurface up to the surface and create new terrain. In this case, it was water that quickly became ice once it reached the frigid temperatures of Pluto's surface. The way these features look is very different than any volcanoes across the solar system either icy examples or rocky volcanoes, Singer said. They formed as mountains, but there is no caldera at the top, and they have large bumps all over them. So while Pluto has a rocky core, 
scientists have long believed that the planet lacked much interior heating, which is needed to spur volcanism. To create the region Singer and her team studied, there would have been several eruption sites. The research team also noted that the area doesn't have any impact craters, which can be seen across Pluto's surface, which suggests that the ice volcanoes were active relatively recently, and that Pluto's interior has more residual heat than expected, Singer said. This means Pluto has more internal heat than we thought it would, which means we don't fully understand how planetary bodies work, she said. So, according to Singer, the ice volcanoes probably formed in multiple episodes and were likely active as recently as 100 million to 200 million years ago, which is young geologically speaking. If you were to witness an ice volcano erupt on Pluto, it might look a little different than you expect. The icy material was probably more of a slushy mix of ice and water, or more like toothpaste, while it flowed out of a volcanic vent onto the surface of Pluto, Singer said. It is so cold on the surface of Pluto that liquid water cannot remain there for long. In some cases, the flow of material formed the massive domes that we see, as well as the lumpy terrain found everywhere in this region. When New Horizons flew by this region, the team didn't witness any current ice volcano activity, but they were only able to see the area for about a day, so there is a possibility that the ice volcanoes are still active. They could be like volcanoes on Earth that remain dormant for some time and then are active again, she said. Now, let's discuss the most favorite question of the scientists and researchers, is there life out there on Pluto? It is believed that Pluto once had a subsurface ocean, and finding these ice volcanoes could suggest that the subsurface ocean is still present, and that liquid water could be close to the surface. Combined with the idea that Pluto has a warmer interior than previously believed, the findings raise intriguing questions about the dwarf planet's potential habitability. There are still a lot of challenges for any organisms trying to survive there, Singer said. They would still need some source of continual nutrients, and if the volcanism is episodic and thus the heat and water availability is variable, that is sometimes tough for organisms as well. So, investigating Pluto's intriguing subsurface would require sending an orbiter to the distant world. If we did send a future mission, we could use ice-penetrating radar to peer directly into Pluto and possibly even see what the volcanic plumbing looks like, Singer said. NASA is now planning to send more missions into the cosmos to find out the other half of the truth and prove the existence of alien life around us. So, to say that New Horizons shook the foundations of planetary science is an understatement, as discoveries already culled from the pictures and compositional and space environment readings have not only introduced us to the Pluto system, but hint at what awaits as scientists examine other worlds in the Kuiper Belt. New Horizons is now nearly 300 million miles beyond Pluto, speeding to its next destination deeper into the Kuiper Belt, following NASA approval of an extended mission. About 80% of the data stored on the spacecraft's recorders has been sent to Earth, and the transmission of the remainder will be complete later this year. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.